Well, uh, let's get started. I'm going to ask the panel to, um, uh, to introduce themselves, but uh, I'll uh, kind of call their name. Uh, Gordon Apsher is uh, Vice President of Public Relations for MGM uh, Resort International. So, um, uh, Gordon, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? To say that at internal meetings within the company, I introduced myself as the Vice President of Oh God, What Now? Because when I call a property president and their, their assistant announces that I'm on the line, they don't pick up the phone and say, hi, Gordon, how are you? It's nice to hear from you. They pick up the phone and they say, oh, God, what now? You only call when it's really bad. I do issue management and crisis management for uh, one of the largest resort companies in the world. Anybody been to Vegas before? Yeah. It's a fun place until it all goes wrong. Um, we got a lot of stories I could tell, but we deal with, uh, with a lot of things that happen uh, very unexpectedly. Uh, it's hard to plan for these sort of things because they, they come out of the blue. We've outlawed the phrase, what could possibly happen now, uh, because the next day it will prove itself. It's something you can't even imagine uh, happens. Some of it is good. Some of it is funny. Some of it's very tragic. Uh, I had uh, a colleague walk into my uh, office several years ago and said, Monte Carlo's on fire. I said, how do you know? And she said, turn on your TV. Um, proving my theory that the first thing that fails in a crisis is the crisis plan. Nobody bothered to call the rest of the corporation and let them know. But all we had to do was turn on the, turn on the, uh, the television, and we were off to the races. I left NAU. My first job uh, was loading buses. Uh, at the Greyhound bus station at 2 o'clock in the morning, but that was a very important career stop for me because uh, it taught me that that's, that's a job, that's an important job, and there are people out there doing it every day, and I, I call on that uh, a lot in my career. Uh, went on to be a news photographer in Las Vegas, uh, was, worked on Capitol Hill as a, a congressional press secretary, was the governor's press secretary in the state of Nevada, uh, opened several resorts, and sort of had a meandering career path since then. But it's been a lot of fun. And Gordon, you uh, did work at, um, uh, at the former KJAC station, KRCK, uh, and KNAU. I did. I did. Media. I got to work uh, both sides of, of uh, the radio side. Also uh, worked at the TV station. I was executive producer of a program called Northland Focus for a semester. Uh, I got to direct some uh, uh, a football game. Uh, so a lot of really great uh, experiences that took me uh, wherever the heck my career is going. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Liz Driscoll is Vice President of Public Relations at GoDaddy. Um, and don't, don't, don't uh, forget to mention your student media uh, involvement too. So Liz Driscoll, tell us a little about what you do. Uh, I am Vice President of Public Relations at GoDaddy. I have had an interesting career path. I think uh, they all start in a uh, a variety of directions and it's been an adventure. I spent 18 years in broadcast journalism working primarily in television and uh, after 18 years I, I started here with hands-on experience at NAU and I would say you guys are lucky to be lumberjacks because of the hands-on experience you do get. Um, so I, I worked at uh, CAF Radio, KNAZ, I don't know how many of you remember the local NBC affiliate uh, got to cover Arizona's first DNA trial um, and help NBC Nightly News with that. Again, I think in large part because of what I learned in your class, Dr. Dale. Um, and from there went to Tucson and Phoenix working at the NBC and CBS affiliates respectively. Uh, and after 18 years, I thought I would um, take a new path. I took about a year off. It was hard to make it the whole year. Um, but chased some bucket list things and then uh, interviewed for, a, for what I thought was a, a small PR job at uh, two tech companies actually. I thought technology was pretty interesting and um, my, NA, or my, uh, my GoDaddy interview was probably the most interesting. It lasted about eight hours and uh, in the end they offered me a vice president job and I took it and I celebrated nine years uh, working at GoDaddy just this week and uh, I've got to do a lot of amazing things along the way and uh, really happy to be here talking to you all today. Thank you. And our next guest is uh, Les Kotliak, uh, former uh, public affairs director for the U.S. Air Force, a, a government agency, I might add. Um, now does consulting 
uh, and you have worked in other um, um, PR or spokesperson uh, situations. Why don't you explain your career? Sure. Thank you, Dale. Uh, first, I want to say that, as Liz alluded to, you guys, for anybody who's a communications major, you have picked the best major and career path that you could possibly select out of all of them. And we'll talk about that more. Um, I'm an 84 grad of uh, NAU. Actually, I married an NAU grad, my lovely wife, who is a nurse. She graduated in 82, and she's in the back of the room there. Um, and so for 30 years, uh, served in the Air Force through the Air Force ROTC program here, was commissioned, had a wonderful advisor and mentor, Dan Julian, Professor Julian, was, was my student advisor and helped develop a course curriculum uh, that led to you know, all, any and a lot of the success that I've had. In the course of 30 years, I ended up as the director of the, your United States Air Force, I should say, the largest, the world's largest aerospace corporation. I uh, spent the last five years working in the Pentagon. So White House Press Corps, Pentagon Press Corps, Congress, uh, the American people, those kind of uh, important audiences. Uh, all. Uh, it was an interesting opportunity, though. In the middle of my career, I had the opportunity to go to New York City and work for Hill & Milton, an international PR firm. So it was kind of like a sabbatical from the Air Force. I wore a business suit. I had clients like Hard Rock Cafe, Dunkin' Donuts, Exxon, and so on. Uh, and we got to see how private industry worked and then brought those experiences back to the government to improve the way we do business. And um, one move and assignment after the other, and the next thing you know, 30 years has passed, and I've had a wonderful career in communications and serving in the United States Air Force, uh, working for you. I look forward to talking to you. Thank you. Our next presenter is Bo Lane, the CEO of Lane and uh, Traveler? Tara Lever. Tara Lever. Uh, and I might mention uh, the um, uh, first advertising endowed scholarship that we have in the School of Com. So I'm really pleased and, and happy with that. Um, but why don't you tell us a little yeah. about what you do, particularly sure. with this recent merger and okay. impact there? Well, with the risk of being kicked off the panel, I have to admit I'm not an alumni of NAU, and this is an alumni panel, right? So would you like me to leave at this point? Okay. No, I, I think we're going to give uh, you a, an honorary okay. degree. Okay, but I am a yeah. journalism graduate from the University of Denver, so I have journalism in my blood and uh, communications uh, education, and uh, start sort of worked my way through college uh, uh, as a journalist, uh, writing and selling, uh, so I did both of that. I had to sell ads to make sure we had money to put out the paper and, uh, and I think uh, and the ad commissions paid better I think I think we were paid 10 cents a word at that point for writing articles so uh, that, didn't, that doesn't calculate too much but uh, uh, so graduated from uh, University of Denver was involved in the uh, newspaper business the radio business uh, in Denver and Colorado worked for other advertising agencies came back to Phoenix got involved in uh, a family firm uh, that had started in 1962, where the oldest uh, advertising agency uh, founded in Arizona. Uh, um, uh, and uh, just last year, in uh, 2013, uh, this week of 2013, uh, E.B. Lane merged with a firm called Terra Lever. E.B. Lane was a what you would call a traditional advertising agency, uh, marketing services, uh, brand planning, pub public relations, media buying. I uh, had a strong practice in the in the digital area, uh, but I would say we were we were uh, proficient or we were uh, competent, but not as proficient as we needed to be in that area with what what's happening in the marketing landscape. So uh, we put together a merger with a company called Terra Lever, um, and uh, who was about ten or twelve years old and did nothing but digital marketing, and it was really a tr tremendous uh, combination of the two skill sets. Uh, we are now an agency of 120 people with our largest agency in the southwest Rocky Mountain region, working with clients like Gore-Tex and Honeywell and uh, uh, big clients of that nature, True Green. We have some big clients in Arizona like the uh, Arizona Lottery and the Arizona Cardinals and uh, uh, the Visit Phoenix uh, campaign for the tourism for the city of Phoenix. Uh, we're handling the marketing for the Super Bowl coming up in 99 days uh, as of today. So. Uh, anyway, it's my pleasure to be here. I'm a big supporter of NAU. We do have a scholarship, the Ed Lane uh, Advertising Scholarship, uh, that uh, is given to a student every year here at NAU. Uh, my son Cooper is a senior uh, uh, here in the Communications Department and has uh, had a wonderful experience, so I do feel like I, I am part of the NAU community. 
Thank you. Okay, um, let me remind you to uh, cut off uh, all electronic devices that uh, may disrupt uh, those around us or uh, draw our attention away from, uh, from the presentation. Of, that's a disclaimer that we're required to, to make um, at the start of each of our classes. Yeah, the, the Vice President of Academic Affairs has made us do that. <laughs> see, see that there is no Academic Affairs Vice President. It's a pope. Okay, you missed the joke. <laughs> we're going to start out. I'm going to ask the question. It was a really funny joke. Though. Thank you. I, it, it's it went it's over really great to his... see that Dale's sense of humor has not improved since... Uh, <laughs> And he's still trying to pull off that fake Texas accent. Yeah, yeah really, I'm from New Jersey. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, now you realize why I'm not doing morning drive on radio anymore. Yeah, the, um, we're gonna, I'm going to ask questions. The first round, we'll go down answering kind of the order. Then the next way, I'm going to kind of, the next question, I'm going to kind of uh, skip around and we'll go uh, in different order. But um, 